But there's a fourth possible objective, and I think it is ISIS objective. Destabilize its neighbors. Jordan is a miracle in the region. It's the most stable regime, yet it's the weakest, it has, has no oil, and yet since for the last 70 years it's had only three rulers, but it has huge divisions internally. It's got a lot of Muslim brotherhood. It has some ISIS sympathizers, and I think the objective here was to draw Jordan into a war where it was a peripheral player. And this highlights, I think, the danger. We all who worship at the shrine of multilateralism, broad coalitions, bring everybody in. As a way to restrict American action, Obama is now involving the UAE, the Saudis, and of course the Jordanians, and now we see the result. Jordan being drawn into a, a war, a direct war with ISIS, is not a good thing for us. Jordan will not defeat ISIS on its own. It wouldn't even defeat ISIS, uh, even if it had some coalition partners. It's the United States, essentially, which is the only, or Turkey, perhaps, the only partner. So here we are bringing in Jordan for symbolic reasons, yet a real pilot is shot down in real time and then executed in this horrible way causing a reaction in Jordan where the king is now on the spot. He has to do something intense, important, uh, punishing, and that will draw him in. He's got, he's got refugees from, of course, Palestine, but of course, Syria, Iraq. He's got a lot of internal dissent, which we have seen over the years. And this is a way to stir the cauldron in a country that is stable, was stable, but is easily destabilized. And that's what ISIS is after.